Today I want to show you how to use my all new version 5.0 t-shirt mock-up templates. This tutorial is for Photoshop, but my new templates also come in Adobe Illustrator format. These templates are made for people who understand the value of saving time and getting excellent results with the most professional looking and easiest to use templates available. These version 5.0 templates have quite a few new features that will make your designs look like they're printed on real t-shirts and photographed on a mannequin with consistent lighting and studio quality. So when you order these men's t-shirt mock-up templates, you'll see that there's a Illustrator folder for the Illustrator version of the templates. There's a Photoshop folder for the Photoshop version of the templates. And then there's a Photoshop quick start guide and an Illustrator quick start guide. So let's go into the Photoshop templates and you'll see that there are five front view templates five back view templates and a left side template and a right side template. So what I'll do is I'll open up this front view, this white one here, just double click on that to open it up in Photoshop. And I've got my layers panel open here. So you'll want to make sure to open your layers panel and that's how you're going to navigate this template. The other thing is if you go into panel options, you can make your thumbnail size bigger and that'll make it a lot easier to navigate. The other thing you'll want to do is widen this panel so that you can read what each layer says. There are little instructions in the naming of these layers, so that'll help guide you as you're mocking up your t-shirt designs. So I'm just going to start at the very top here and show you what each layer and each feature does. And if you open this up in Photoshop and all you see is this one top layer and one bottom layer, you're going to want to click on this little arrow to drop down your layers. So this top layer here, we have a layer mask that will automatically clip out your art. I'll show you that in a second. There's also an effect that's a drop shadow that you'll see around the edges of the t-shirt. That's optional. If you want to turn that off, just click on the little eyeball to turn that off. I kind of like it. And if you want to edit that drop shadow, like you want to make it bigger or bolder or lighter, you can do that by double clicking on where it says drop shadow and then you can change your opacity. So to make it darker, you know, you could go really dark. You could change the size of it to make it bigger, but I kind of like where it's at. So I'm just going to hit cancel. The layer below this is an adjustment layer and it says fabric shading contrast, double click thumbnail to adjust. So if you want to adjust this, you're going to double click on this little thumbnail here. And the reason you want to adjust this is to adjust the lighting on the shirt to make the highlights brighter and the shadows darker. So if you have a white shirt, you won't need quite as extreme highlights and shadows. But let's say I wanted to just brighten up the white on this fabric. I can just double click on this thumbnail and that'll open your properties window and you have some sliders in here. The main three you want to pay attention to are these three right here. And if you slide this one to the left, it'll really pop the highlights. Now, if you go too far, it'll get blown out. So you don't want to do that. Once you start losing texture in the shirt, you know that it's getting blown out. So I think that looks pretty good. And if we wanted to pop, the contrast, like the, the shadows in the shirt, we could move this one over to the right, but all of a sudden the t-shirt starts looking really dingy. So I'm just going to undo that. And you have this middle slider that will adjust your mid range values, but I think this looks good. So let's leave it at that for now, but we'll probably go back to this in a little bit. Below this is the shading layer. This gives our t-shirt the photographic quality. If you turn that off, the t-shirt just goes invisible. So you're going to want to leave that on. You don't really need to mess with that layer directly. Below that is a layer group called neck label and just click on this little arrow to drop down the contents. There's a neck label design that's in there, but to add in your own design, let's go into Adobe Illustrator and I have a neck label design here. I'll just copy that, go back into Photoshop, and it says highlight this layer and paste in your neck label. So let's go command V and I'll paste that in as pixels and let's scale it down because it's way too big. And you'll see that it's automatically cropped into that neck label shape. And let's hit 
enter to apply it. And then what I'll do is I'll hide the visibility of that neck label that's currently in there. But I'm just gonna get rid of that and go back to the original one that we have in there. Below this is a pocket layer, and this is completely optional. You can move this pocket layer around to go anywhere you want. You could scale it up or down a little bit if you want to. You can change the color. So if you wanna change the pocket color, go down to this pocket color layer, and it says double click color overlay effect to edit. So this is the color overlay effect. I'll just double click on that. And let's say I wanted to make it like a red pocket. I could do that. You know, if I wanted to make it a blue pocket, I could do that. And then just click okay to apply. But for this design, I don't want a pocket. So we're just gonna turn the visibility of that off. Now below that you have a layer group and it says paste your art into this layer group. There's another cool feature called the magic fabric texture layer. And I'll show you that in just a little bit, but let's keep going. So below this, we have a heather layer. So if you want to make your shirt look like it's printed on a tri blend or a poly cotton blend, you can turn that on and you can also adjust the opacity of it. I have it down at 30% now. If you want to make it lighter, you could turn it down. And if you're mocking up a dark heather shirt, you can increase that opacity. And let me turn that off for now. And then below this, we have our fabric color. So we just double click on this and that brings up a color picker window. And let's say we wanted to change this shirt to blue. That's all you really need to do. But I wanna show you how to mock up a black shirt. We wanna fill it not with 100% black, but we wanna start by filling the base color with a dark gray and we'll click OK. Um, I'm gonna adjust this contrast in a little bit, but let me show you the background color layer here real quick. You can turn this off and you can have a transparent background. If you wanna export this as a transparent PNG or something, you can do that. You can also turn that visibility back on and assign it any solid color. So I could do like a gray, you know, I could get real weird and do like a yellow background. You can do all kinds of things. That looks a little cooler than I thought it would. So let's leave that as is for now. And the next thing I wanna do is since I've chosen a dark fabric color, what we wanna do is we wanna increase this fabric shading contrast so that you can see the shadows in the shirt. So like I did before, I'll go ahead and double click on this layer thumbnail and I'll just ramp up those darks and you see how the shading you can see it a lot better now and we could even move the brights a little bit brighter but if you overdo it it'll look really weird so you just want to go by kind of what looks good to your eye because again these are mock-ups and the whole point is to make a realistic looking t-shirt so i think that looks really good so now we want to add in our own art. So I'm going to go into Adobe Illustrator here. And this is a graphic I made from Logo Design Master Collection, which is a different bundle of t-shirt style logo graphics. The only thing I don't want here is I don't want the background. I've got a black background behind this so you can see it. Um, I'm just going to lock that layer. And then I'm going to select everything else and just hit Command C to copy it out of Illustrator and then I'll go back into Photoshop. And the thing you're gonna wanna do is there's a layer that says highlight this layer and paste in your art. So make sure to click on that to highlight it and then paste it in and you could just paste it in as pixels. And the cool thing about these templates, I think I mentioned it before is your art will automatically be cropped out to the edges of the shirt. So this is probably something you wouldn't want to do, but if you're doing an all over printed t-shirt, it's going to be automatically cropped out. But let's go ahead and scale it down. And I think that already looks really good. Now, the other cool feature I have is I have something called the magic fabric texture layer. 
And that's for people who want to make their t-shirt look like it's kind of printed with a soft hand. If you're doing athletic apparel or streetwear or kind of thing where the style is to print really thick, opaque ink, you may not want to use this. But you know, if you're going a little bit more fashion-y, you can turn on this magic fabric texture layer and it just adds a little bit of transparency. It's like a t-shirt texture and it knocks through your design. So it emulates seeing a little bit of that t-shirt fabric color below and it just really adds to the realism of how your t-shirt design is gonna look. And I think that already looks really good. Now there's a couple other things we can do and these are completely optional. So the way my t-shirt mock-up templates are set up is it's meant to really display the graphics as best as possible where the t-shirt graphic is sort of the feature. It's not that, oh, it's printed on a t-shirt. It's, it's more that it, you're trying to showcase your design. So that being said, you know, there's not a bunch of giant wrinkles going right through the middle of the graphic, but there are a little bit of fabric wrinkles going through the middle of the graphic. So we can tweak this to make it look even more realistic. And one way is to apply a displacement map. Let's go to that layer of our art. So I've highlighted that layer and you can go to filter, distort, displace, and you'll probably want your horizontal scale to be, let's just try 30 pixels and your vertical is 30 pixels as well. You can leave the other settings as they are and let's click OK. And now we need to point Photoshop to our displacement maps. The other thing is you'll wanna use the displacement map that is the same number as the file you're using. So this is template number five. It says 05 front men's t-shirt template. Let's go to displacement map number five and click open. And you'll see that now the t-shirt is wrinkled in the right place. Now, the other thing is with these displacement maps, it'll push your graphic a bit. So what you may wanna do is you'll see how far it moved. So what I wanna do is I'll undo that and let's just move our graphic over a little bit to compensate for that movement. And let's apply that displacement map again. So filter, distort, displace. And I think 30 looked pretty good. So let's keep it at that. And we'll choose number five again. And I think that looks really good. To find out more about my apparel mock-up templates for Photoshop and Illustrator, you can follow the link on this page. Thanks for watching.